All right, we're good to go. Well, some words I've been waiting to say for a while. New space weirdo. We're finally... Yeah, finally opening the roster back up. Digging out. Yeah, we need another uh, bench player. We're, we've made it to the playoffs where we're cutting the roster to the 15. Yeah, we need the bench mob now. So this is uh, Brother Panic, who I've I've never watched any of his videos. This will be the I've, first one I've ever seen. I found him a while ago, actually, when I was looking into Brother Bobby. Uh He's a disciple of Brother Bobby's. Excellent. Uh, the only issue with Brother Panic is most of his videos are like six and a half hours long. Uh, so I managed to find one that was about 52 minutes, uh, and the first five minutes was pretty fucking entertaining. This so, is uh, uh, that was all I needed. Brother Panic, Captain America's Endgame. I'm, I'm, I'll read to you uh, his bio he has for himself on his website, which looks like a 2004 rap blog. It looks like he's a, dope yeah, boys. he's a rap nerd. We were talking about this beforehand. Yeah, like he's he's a legit rap nerd. Here we go. Brother Panic is a metaphysical and occult teacher. Panic has been lecturing via the uh, via internet radio for the last seven years. In this time, his goal is to help the people have access to their ancient science. One of the more popular ways was through an original product called the Panic Pack. It's, <laughs> oh, you know what we did actually? We mentioned this last week. I fucked up. I thought it was Bobby. We talked about the dude who was oh, just right, selling right. herbs and Ziploc yeah, bags. herbs and shit. That's Brother Panic. Yeah. Uh, so for, for 25 bucks, you can get a, a pile of spices that you're supposed to smoke, I think. Oh, he explains it. It's a combination of organic herbs put together by Brother Panic. He got this combination from the spirit world for personal use and later <laughs> shared the, reve uh, the revealing with the public. Since then, hundreds of his listeners, students, and peers rant about the results of the panic pack. It opens up the pineal gland, third eye. I love that he got it from the spirit world. And I have heard various results from different people about the benefits. Why did the, the whole beginning of this was in the third person? And then on that uh, sentence, he said, I have heard. Slipped? I think so. <laughs> it's it's one of the douchiest things people do is where they, they run their uh, social media or their website as if they hired someone to do it for them. Oh, like, like when I used to... beneath them. When I used to sign the emails, uh, management. Yes, it's it's that kind of thing. It's it's a subtle it's a subtle lie. Uh, where was I? Opens the pineal gland. Deeper meditations, lucid dreams, focused meditations, talking to ancestors, talking to spirits. Quit smoking. That seems like a weird one. Just cool. toss in there. Which is funny because he's smoking a hookah this entire th <laughs> during this entire thing. Just to name a few of the benefits, but always a result from using the pack. You can smoke it. Yeah, you already mentioned that. Or drink it as a tea. Guaranteed one of the best things you can do for your spiritual work. Hey, brother, do you know you can smoke this shit too? On the, the page where he's selling the, the herbs, that is one of the ways it says, like, you can drink it, you can smoke it by itself. And the last one is like, or smoke it with what you'd normally smoke. <laughs> and then in parentheses, it says, I have heard this works very well. I love that, that he has to just wink, wink at you. So after his bio on the website, you scroll down a little and there's a photo gallery of, of probably 200 pictures that look like crime scene photographs. I, I presume this to be Brother Panic's uh, apartment. Yeah, and it's just pictures of uh, like a wall covered in Polaroid photographs, like yeah, a serial the, killer. No, that's the wall right there. Yeah, I guess everyone will get to see it in a it's second. It's his wall. And then there's now just, in, in later videos, I think he moves and he has like this bitch and den. But look at the, there's just pictures. There's pictures of a made bed. It's like his Airbnb profile or something. He's, Very bizarre. I don't know. Maybe he's got like former military trainer or some shit. But I mean, yeah, look at his. You can see his wall. It's just got shit pinned to it like a teenage girl. He has the most stereotypical, like crazy person the wall. The only like, thing he doesn't have is the string. That's really it. It's a bunch of uh, like cut out photographs pinned to his wall. And I. Most of it is a occult symbology, but there's. Uh, Brother Panic is very heavy into the occult. I I, uh, I gathered that. Yeah, he's very occult heavy. And he's also dressed like, a once again, a rapper from the mid-2000s. So I think I'm getting a heavy 2004 to 2006 vibe off of uh, Brother Panic. Yeah, he's Kanye in his prime. You can you can always tell when someone grew up, like when their heyday was, because they never really uh, managed to maneuver out of that particular Is he still got block his, of time. He still got his fresh clothes from when he was like 25. Yeah, he's dressed like uh, Charles Hamilton during yeah. the mixtape era. Yeah. All right, let's get into uh, Brother Panic. Brother Panic, Captain America's Endgame with four exclamation marks after it. 
that I'm sure you're aware of. He's wearing a stunner shade. Must be mentioned in this time. Smoking a hookah. <laughs> you just hear the hookah <laughs> bubbling in the background. Get relaxed mode. Relax mode. First of all, he's wearing sunglasses inside. Out. He looks like just Blaze. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I, 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 I want to say Jim Jones, but that's not quite right. But he's someone of that ilk. Yeah, the glasses. Oh, he's yeah, like a weird fine. combination. So, it's the polo like that Swiss really gets beats, me. Swizz Beats and uh, like Kanye West. Bobby Hemming videos quite hey, soon. Synchronicity. Ding, ding, ding. I'm going to get to put that work up on my Patreon page. <laughs> Patreon.com slash Brother Panic. Patreon. You know, it, it's odd that all these people, most of these people are very, very anti-establishment. And yet their entire livelihood is based around large corporations hosting their content. There's some YouTube, par- Patreon. There's a few paradoxes out there. You know, you can be censored while simultaneously having <clears throat> thousands and thousands of views. It's always an evil corporation unless you can use that corporation to your benefit. Because I'll agree. I think there it is a bit of a paradox sometimes where they can be doing shenanigans, but they're also enabling your shenanigans. The, the argument typically made is uh, by people who don't want to be a hypocrite is you have to play within the system to beat it. So this yeah. is just them, them, unless you get kicked using out of the, the system. cards they've been dealt. On dot com slash brother panic, you join up. Hitting the hookah mid sentence <laughs> is an interesting choice. <laughs> It'll get you privy to a few uh, things and I'm going to put more and more things up there. We got to start pinning um, shit to our walls. You know, website, occultlectures.com for it, classes. I feel like we're missing out. And services. <clears throat> it I guess looks batshit insane. It's probably actually the only like crazy person thing I don't really do. Is uh, cutting out random photographs to pin on your wall? I just don't pin things to like walls in general. I'd be worried they'd pin a crime on me. I think if you... Pun intended. Uh, yes. If... If you walk into someone's house and that's how they've chosen to uh, decorate the place, they've they've cut out like they're statement. they're making a hostage note uh, like scrapbook <laughs> thing where they cut out the letters and form the sentence a collage of sorts. Yeah, it's a statement. It's a statement. It's a lot of effort for no reward. It doesn't look good. Well, but it takes a lot of time. It's the worst. No of reward both worlds. that we know about. That's true. Maybe maybe he's got something going on. I I don't know about. Maybe there's some. Magic. I'm, it does kind of look cool. It's just funny that they're all eight and a half by 11 pieces of paper. <laughs> it is just printer paper, I think. <laughs> There's no special posters or anything. It's just his own home decorating. Perhaps we need to buy Brother Panic's Panic Pack for 30 fucking dollars. It does sound good, it. though. Look, folks, you're going to want to get a Brother Panic's <laughs> Panic Pack, okay? These things are flying off the shelf. I think he's shipping it himself because on the store portion of his website, it does say, like, look, I got a lot of orders, so if you, like, <laughs> need it soon, let me know. <laughs> is Somdi Readings, S-A-M-E-D-I, Readings, R E D. R E A D. This is spelling bee. He's trying. Somdi readings. S A M E D I R E A N D I N G B I N G O B I N G O. Anything in R E S B E C T. Chakra work, which is a pot, an an impotent part of this work here. Yeah. All right. Some chakra work. That's a nice watch. He flex in with those. Brother Panic is Brother Panic is fly. Uh, you don't get to wear a collared shirt like that and not have the watch to go with it. Yeah, you got swag. How you deal with the emotional impact of this world, that aspect of your humanity that needs to be put under control, the seven, before you can start I dealing love, I love when he gets wild philosophic. Gods, the playing around he's, with the he's gods. Been, he's been have, uh, dipping into his herbs. Anchors. He Therefore, does this. You have to deal with your chakras. Yeah, he, he does this occasionally. What the fuck we're talking about? No, he doesn't really mention the movie for like the first five minutes. Oh, okay. But uh, but no, I just love. He'll do this all the time, and he'll just go on these weird philosophical diatribes that sound really cool. But then he finishes talking, and you're like, wait, did he just actually say anything, or were those just words strung together? I I think the latter. Sometimes I I don't catch it all. You know, you'd think so he could have smoked the hookah prior to getting on camera. No, no this is one of his things he likes doing, too. He loves website, eating on camera, too, because it, <laughs> it pisses the haters off. Fucking phenomenal. 
He's right. She has products that support chakra healing motherfuckers. Is yeah, (laughs) chakra healing motherfuckers. (laughs) We gotta get chakra healing done. Mother chakra healing motherfuckers. Yeah. Minds about the people. Call up brother panic. His wife is offering courses. Losing their minds about the products. You can get it at (laughs) somdreadings.com. Me, I'm the same OG. Get a herb pack and fucking Word. open your mind. Now, I took some herb oil, <laughs> some shrooms so far. Today. And some shrooms today. Yeah, yeah I told you. He, he said that. He, he's lit. He just took them. Hold on. Yeah, he's lit. Herb oil, some shrooms so far today. Herb oil and shrooms today. This could be a yeah. good video. That I, Well, that's what I saw. I got to like through the first five minutes. I saw that and I was like, oh, we're good. Now, That's all we, I need to know. Maybe he means, you know, like uh, boring mushrooms, but something tells me. I think I think he means the mushrooms we all think he means. And before they kick in, I'm <laughs> trying to get this shit out of the way. Oh, it's definitely <laughs> the good ones. All right. Five for you sending you niggas hoping I talk to one of them five hour lectures. <laughs> so I'll be high as a motherfucker while I'm talking to you. Yeah, we gotta get a shroom happen. episode in. We just gonna get this out of the way. It's like a prerequisite. But I love the idea that he just ate him and was like, oh, fuck, I forgot to record my video. <laughs> Shit, I gotta try and knock this walk. out. We still downgrade ourselves as some minority. That's why they say the word constant over to you. Minority. You're a minority. Minority. A minority. Yeah, he's this really is hitting the OR in that word. He's got, powerless. he's very got a very interesting way he's of speaking. More of a, I still don't know what the fuck he's talking about. Eventually, he starts talking about uh, Endgame. I'm gonna not Alex Jones. <laughs> not Alex Jones is Endgame though. He swears that's where they took the name from. I was watching <laughs> Alex yesterday, and he he took credit for like four separate Marvel movies, two TV shows. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. and like three books in like a five minute span. Well, it was so fucking funny. I don't know if you've heard the story. He told it on air. He was originally cast. He for said, the Chris Pratt role in Guardians of the Galaxy. That was supposed oh, to be yeah. Alex Jones. He said uh, King of the Hills based on him. Well, the, well, the Dale <laughs> Gribble one, I believe. That, yeah, that yeah, makes that a ton makes, of sense. And he is friends with, uh, what's his name? Yeah, he was talking about that. But yeah, he took credit for like five different things. And within like five minutes, and it was cracking me up. So any avenue you decide to fight back, <clears throat> your numbers aren't there. Those are the type of bullshit. shades that if a white person only, wears them, you look like a fucking retard or a retired like over 70 dude. They're black guy shades. Only a black yeah. man could pull that off. If I were to wear that, it, it looks like a Jewish like, grandma sunglasses. Exactly. Like if, like if yeah, if you wear them, you, that looks like you stole your grandmother's it's, sunglasses. It's, uh, for those not watching, it's imagine a woman driving a golf cart in a retirement community and the yeah. type of shade she'd be wearing. Yeah, like golden girls. Yes, well, yes, be our shade. White people on the planet in the, in the whole. Thank the you. Minority. But We're the minority. Out, if you watch I'm going to start saying it like that from now on. Mino- Wesley Snipes minority. Oh, he's talking about Demolition. I used to. Demolition Man? I think the first movie I ever saw titties in. There, that might have been the very. You never forget your first. No. <laughs> <laughs> Point it out. If you watch the movie Demolition Man, it's a fantastic Wesley movie. Snipes was programmed. Wow, they they came up with a system of freezing in cryostasis. There, all that is he another movies are real guy? Oh, without a doubt. Not only movies are real, but he's also big in his symbology in the movies. Have we covered a single person who isn't a movie? Movies are real guy. No, I think we're seeing the after effects of the comic book generation. Now that I'm thinking, I think I mean literally everyone. Carrie Cassidy. Because uh, remember this Bobby, generation, obviously. For this generation, the first, like, 20 years, pretty much, of comic books was just propaganda for the government. Back when they were good. Yeah. When when the CIA ran DC. So there was real shit in them to begin with, and then when they evolved into what they became, people from that era who grew up reading them in their childhood just assumed all that shit was real, and that's carried over because now they're just turning all those comic books into movies. I am jealous of the ability for these people to do this because it makes the world much more interesting. The, yeah, the, I find it funny because they must just think everything's a documentary. I, I'm to I, an extent. I like the idea that you can simply replace reality with whatever you choose to believe. It's kind of like a weird form of the secret. 
where I don't have That's to believe true, the yeah. truth. I can make the world <laughs> magical and and it's kind a space of, uh, traveling civilization sheerly by believing it. It's kind of how they always describe Steve Jobs, which is how he was so like delusional that wherever he went, like reality just bended to his will. So I gotta it's like start you, doing that. Yeah, like if you can just always believe, like, no, that's fucking, that ship right there, yeah, it's real. Did you know the Hulk actually works <laughs> for the government? Real guy. Yeah, works for the CIA. And while the inmates were frozen, they gave them mind control program. I think that's what's happening here. They gave us mind control pro, they gave them mind control programming. Okay. And one of the programs, because fucking the... Fly. Bad guy, the bad white guy, knew he was going to unfreeze <laughs> Wesley Snipes. He programmed them that he could not hurt him. So Wesley Snipes was taking a gun and pointing it to him, but he just couldn't shoot him. I want a you hookah. Know what I'm saying? He just couldn't kill his I, man. I him. haven't smoked hookah since, I think, high school. Or no, that's not true. I used to have one in college. I fucking love a good hookah every now and then. Used to just sit out on my, my balcony with my roommate. It's pretty rad. Hookah. It's pretty rad. I'm not going to lie. It's a good way to kill like five hours when you have nothing going on. Yeah, and so it's just a nice way to post for a few hours, and then you smoke too much and you puke up uh, chicken <laughs> fries. I gotta see from Burger King. I gotta see when this video is from. We're from 2019. Two, okay. two years ago. It's from when Endgame came out. I was wondering if this was a pre or a post lockdown circumstance because his mind has been programmed not to do it. So Who's the lead is demolition the man? Is it Sylvester Stallone? That they gave us. I don't know, but Whereas Wesley Snipes is in it. White people, black people. See <laughs> He's white just got his phone ringing in the background. But the panic don't give a fuck. Do anything. He, uh, he's going to uh, do this how he wants well, to do it. Wesley wanted to kill him, so therefore we talk a great game about what we would do to that old beast, that old crap. It is Sylvester Stallone. But it doesn't make sense. Yeah. <laughs> the one thing he does not want us to do. He gets some good audio the off the, uh, the public. I'm sure he set it up like that. We proved already physically that we're not going to do anything. We proved that we're not going to do anything. Just by looking around and nothing's happening. They walk freely through your neighborhood. And you're scared to walk through theirs at night. Ask Trayvon. A white kid do that shit. <laughs> oh, ask Tray. I thought he said Ash Trayvon. Nah, ask Trayvon. <laughs> I was like, is Ash Trayvon a rapper? Yeah. So the only ask Trayvon, bro. Is what? Your mind. That so, is true. I've stumbled around neighborhoods yeah. mad drunk over here, and I've never been shot. Never yeah. once. Yeah. I've had Skittles and iced tea <laughs> on me. Nothing. The only real way Nothing. to get back, obviously, would be using your mind. They Do you know Trayvon Martin was a superhero too? <laughs> I'm waiting for him to tie this together. We're, uh, he, we're six and a half minutes in. He eventually gets to it. I check to make sure he does get to it because he brings out his collectibles. That is the danger whenever you cover a new space weirdo is a lot of times these guys are legitimately just mentally unwell people. Well, and they just stumble about verbally. And I'd watched enough of Brother Panic stuff previously just because he's fucking funny. Uh, to know that he can talk about just nothing for like 35 <laughs> minutes, but it's an entertaining nothing. So I made sure to jump through and be like, huh, in 53 minutes, I wonder if he can actually cover this. Talking about nothing is another prerequisite for this uh, the space weirdo community. I think rambling, I mean, we have it. Yeah, rambling is a, is a gift. You got to be community. a little off in the head to be able to talk as much as these uh you're talking these ab- groups do it's like how like physicists have to talk about theoretical physics but we're talking about retarded shit yeah we're talking about dicks theoretical retard yeah. <laughs> we're talking about theoretical retarded shit so we have to be able to disassociate a little i noticed that he and brother bobby appear to have gone to the same cinematography school because we're once again getting the uh sitting in a tree outside a girl's window style of uh camera yeah he's like, a, uh, these he's, weird zooms and these shakes i think he's a direct disciple of brother bobby understand they understand because as you can them, tell by the seven hour they videos <laughs> came into the understanding for you this was just how the world was done so for them their goal was to reorder or a brand new world order ding, where ding, ding. you forget a little Yo, bit of Royce the 5'9 in his yeah. face. Royce the 5'9 with just Blaze and... And they've learned how to uh, use their mind... Maybe a little Swiss Beats. ...against you now. Because you T- no longer... Timbaland. Know Timbaland too, yeah. Anymore. He's got the face shape. And they have now picked up a gun 
and they firing all Oh, shots. God, is Brother Panic a clone of, of all of these <laughs> producers? He's a super producer well, clone. If he believes that all the movies are true, it makes the most sense that he would just be an amalgam of all the things he's a product of. So all the, the Jimmy sh- Iovine was in his <laughs> fucking his secret lab, and he had taken the DNA from all of the world's greatest rap producers, and he used them to create this... This super producer, but the wires got crossed somewhere. It's kind of like how the uh, the power uh, Powerpuff Girls were made. Like yeah. a little chemical X got into yeah. the formula and kind of threw little, them down the wrong path. A little too much uh, Roscoe's chicken and waffles fell in this batch. <laughs> Instead of being obsessed with music, he became obsessed with occult symbology and Marvel movies. Well, he accidentally spliced in a little bit of uh, Marilyn Manson. <laughs> you have such a low. Are there any emo like goth black people? Not since uh, I what's his name died. I, Trip Triple X. Oh, XXX Tentacion. Yes. Yeah, not since he died. I don't think I. I haven't seen a black goth before, like a dude with painted <laughs> nails and like a leather trench coat. Uh, I guess you could argue like Playboy Cardi. Like I don't. I mean, yeah, I guess maybe some of the the Uzi weird. Heard. Yeah, the mumble rap kids, if you want to. Look of ourselves. Hard to say you're God with a $24 million diamond in your forehead. Yeah. We don't even see it. We see it in general, but we don't see it as specifically reacting to the little bullshit here we doing on YouTube, telling YouTube. each other. So last year, I told y'all, get a Captain America doll. <laughs> symbols. All right. How you program yourself. I love the idea okay. of a They're black dude being like, hey. Program your reality. You buy some saying? dolls. Get you so a Captain America figurine. First edition, symbol. brother. First edition. Don't don't be getting no second edition. You uh, gotta see that symbology. He's he's probably wasted so much money on, on that sort of shit. If he's that into it. He's getting a lot of views on this. I don't know what kind of money he's pulling in, but I think it's enough to justify his figurine purchases. I, I understand what he's driving at though. He's he's saying, you know, surround yourself with positive symbology to, to uplift your vibration. I'm not sure Captain America is going to be positive. He's white. That's what I'm waiting for. Is I'm waiting for him to tie how that would be capable of doing it. Did but... y'all know the Confederate flag is actually on the shield? <laughs> is how you reprogram yourself. You're not going to find an answer. But isn't that just mind controlling yourself? It's going to have to be individual. Yeah, but that's the right thing to do. I guess, but isn't that just, you're just using fire against fire. Becoming successful in life is really just learning to believe the lies you tell yourself. I guess That's so. all you got to do. That's our self-help book. It doesn't have to be true. You just have to be delusional enough to believe we'll, it. We'll do that as like a, a monthly affirmation show where it's just <laughs> believe the lies you tell yourself. I'm going to start you're doing You're great. What, you're definitely not wasting your life. I'm going to do what David does and start ending our videos with 30 minutes of meditation. <laughs> and, and it's just lies you tell yourself? Yeah programming that's going to start to you're going to just start to see reality change and the way it works it's not action reaction we all can be doing this action and their shit just starts collapsing why black people Bars. shit collapse <laughs> i told you he's mad philosophical communication they understand the ritual that they're doing against you therefore they understand that they're changing reality they're really fighting by just doing it, and they make they, you don't have to all the time know. You it's just a wine understand bottle in the, the bag symbol. too. So we understand. <laughs> it, it, I'm telling you, it's like a 20 year old goth girl's college dorm. This is his daughter's dorm room. Is there a fucking rose in that wine bottle? There might be. There, I did. He just break into a co-ed dorm and start filming a video. He just Maybe. broke into a house, ate their mushrooms, like, I got to put some on YouTube. He just ate those mushrooms and uh, hash oil and then just yeah. stumbled into this house, <laughs> found a fucking open MacBook and just started recording. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> hey, bitch, I'm in here getting this video knocked out. Get the fuck out. <laughs> Bring me my Captain America. Yeah, dog. go get me a sandwich. In America to be a symbol for America. He is America. Oh, Captain America is a symbol for All America. Arrogance when they go oh. and stuff world and do what they do. All that shit that they do to you unanswered. Now, everybody can remember, he's pretty much on a running clock after eating shrooms and uh, hash oil. incarcerations <laughs> and just day-to-day violations. Depending on how much he ate in about 20 minutes or so, when, when we hit about the 30-minute mark in this video. He's going to start losing it. Minorities. Spearmints. Spearmints? 
Some Spear- would say experiments, but no, some sp- say spearmint. Spearmint rhino. Yeah. Experiment <laughs> rhino. <It's, laughs> they're testing on the strippers. I was about to say the strippers are getting a super soldier serum. <laughs> yeah. Because Captain Homerica. The ritualistic <laughs> aspect and the symbolic aspect as a weapon to, 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 to impose their will. Understand, they're making it so everybody else works in a winning environment against you. So Word. how do you get them back? That's the question. I told you last year. How do we get them back? By buying children's toys. Take that Captain America doll. See, whatever works, I suppose. Do as you want. Oh, and tear it Drown up. Drown it. Ah, uh, okay. All right. Oh. All right. We're kind of getting. That's it. a little. That's a little voodooish. Yeah, we're getting into like the Satanism. Stick it with a needle. Satanism sigil shit, where, yeah. you, where you bestow power upon a uh, an object. Look at it and uh, get your feelings sent into the doll so that you can smite your enemies. Which, it, once again, if you delude yourself enough to believe this shit is true, I could see how it'd be helpful. It's therapy in a way. Yeah, lying to yourself helps. It's believing the lie. I'm yeah. telling you, that's this is my new well, self help book. That's that's what all good liars realize is if you just believe your own bullshit, you're never lying. Yeah. What was that terrible self help book that uh, had a swear word in the title that everyone loved a few? Like uh, how to become a fucking adult uh, or something like that. Uh, chicken noodle soup for the soul. <laughs> for the fucking soul. <laughs> Mine's just gonna be believe your lies. Yeah. Believe your bullshit. It up. Stick pins in it. It is you now taking care. We'll do it as an audio book. <laughs> symbolically, the land, the power. It is you answering that which has been forced upon you through, it, through one symbol. There's nothing. So this is just it's all. witchcraft because all pretty much ills, personally and collectively you can put into one symbol. And he's he's holding up a cloth that looks like what you, what you use to, to clean your glasses. And he's going to pull a dove out from <laughs> underneath <laughs> it. The vaccinations, what they do to your kids. Every reason, every time you're scared that your kid walks out the door. He did ask, one say, uh, of hundred things vaccinations pre-pandemic. That's interesting. Based upon mm. American mm. system that they're in, that you're just putting up with. You may have- Is he a married man? Yes. His wife's chakra classes. Right, right, right. He's not wearing a wedding ring, is why I ask. Well, that's because it's white people shit. Maybe that's uh, you know, that's, that's what a they symbol put on, of oppression. That's what they put on the slaves. Chains. Yeah, and it's just rings. survive and survive well in it. You know what I'm saying? But ultimately, you're in survival. Or he just doesn't mode. trust like a government you wedding. <laughs> Managed to do that in one symbol by doing things. I taught you that last year, and people showed me pictures all over the country, ultimately breaking. Captain America, she alive. <laughs> I love the idea of people sending in pictures of a Captain America shield. Breaking it, though. That's powerful yeah, imagery. Break, yeah, break the oppression. Uh-oh, is he, about, is he about to pick up the camera and move it around? No, he's getting his figurines. Oh, cool. He's showing us his wall of insane shit. Oh, that's a USA shirt. Ironic thing to be wearing. To be uh, wearing for this? I'm assuming he did that on purpose. He's Captain yeah, America. Shit, so yeah. The new Captain America is black. Wait, what? Yeah. When did that happen? Well, because Captain America dies at the end of Endgame Avengers because he's... Spoiler alert. Because he gets old and shit. I never saw it. Uh, You'd never make it through a three and a half hour movie. <laughs> no, I certainly uh, would. But no, the, the, the new Captain America is black, which actually fits with the comic books. But isn't... Who, didn't they just make someone else black, though? Well, the Green Lantern was already oh, black. Probably Green Lantern. There's iterations of Green Lantern where he's black. Yeah, that but the new, out. the new black Captain America is the dude. It's the dude from Eight Mile. Hold on, run it back. Yeah, that hot starting to come out. So. <laughs> you see, he's starting to get a little turned. Look oh, at his fuck, eyes. Yeah. Oh, make this full screen. Look at his fucking eyes. Woo! All right, that's what I'm gonna use for the uh, the <laughs> the green screen on this one. God bless him. See this. Getting kooky in here. Getting kooky in here. This is why we gotta get some shrooms. All right. So just to play, how long can we go? Look what I found. Look what he found. Wait, the shield is sold separately for Captain America? Oh, that's a yo-yo, the destruction I think. The that I'm going to put on this tonight <laughs> will be unreasonable. <laughs> unreasonable. 
A grown man destroying a Captain the America destruction, <laughs> The destruction I'm going to bring on this. He said it like a I WWE guy. The destruction I'm going to bring on this tonight, brother, <laughs> is going to be incredible. And even I'll rain down upon it with star, great vengeance and furious anger. This because they're still deriving power from you. To, they're using power of yours against you. you <laughs> He's just shaking a yo-yo furiously. Now, this is real. And I did it. I don't even know how to use a Last yo-yo. Last year. Well, Maybe even two years by now, but it's definitely a year where I told people to take this symbol and go ape shit, and people have. Do you think maybe he has like a sponsorship with Marvel? Need to know. They to just like back. sell backlog uh, merch so that he destroys and they need to get rid of? Yeah, you know how sometimes that shit ends up at like the Dollar Tree? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like it's the shit they just have to get rid of, and it's like, well, fuck it. If you want to pay whatever it costs to make them, to break them, like, yeah, you can have them in bulk. That's the thing I never understood about book burnings either. Like when everyone was buying Harry Potter to burn it, like do you think she really cares if you read it? She's getting the check. No, but that's because they're stupid. They're burning a book. <laughs> like, they, that, like that ever did anything. There was a girl who was in our class in uh, middle school who I remember. Who burned the Quran. Her, <laughs> her, her mom wouldn't let her read Harry Potter because of witchcraft. She thought it was going like, to place in, in her mind. Yeah, like it's in the book. My favorite is the people who believed it where they were legitimate spells being. Tri- oh, I had appro- heard that. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. They were saying like there's real spells in there. Harry Potter was disclosure too. Everything's just disclosure. Everything's disclosure. No apparently, matter what it is. Apparently we've been getting disclosure so much and for so long we we didn't even realize it. There's no way to keep up. <laughs> 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 we should just do a super Those cut of him hitting the hookah. Who done the ritual and are up on what I'm talking about when I talked about it last year to get a Captain America urinate on it, drown <laughs> on it, if you bold enough shit on it. He R. Kelly did. Yeah. Let your dog attack you. you make a saying? private like video kid, with your that, Captain America dog. You want to make a private video with that Captain up. America dog. This you know, know what I'm saying? Like, yo, we all got private videos of us, you know, pissing on a Captain so America shield. In the mirror, every time the gas bill comes in, put another cut on that motherfucking dog. <laughs> every time the gas bill comes in, <laughs> you go fucking Captain you America, goddamn gas it, prices. Still do it. That's what happened when when uh, the the Fuck organization that employs the Avengers couldn't afford the insurance anymore. They all did get real jobs. Fucking LADWP. <laughs> Fuck your Captain America shield. Captain America became a bill collector. <laughs> Still do it, but they answers us back. <laughs> they answered us. It's and the equivalent of Captain David's America camera change. The Avengers Endgame. It doesn't come with a cool All the karate Avengers chop, were though. talking to niggas the whole time. In Avengers Endgame, when it comes down to this big scene. Oh, hey, there we go. All Finally said the name of the movie. Avengers Return. I did watch it last night just to refresh myself. Yeah, I, I, I've definitely... It was on Netflix, right, for a while? Okay, yeah. I definitely saw some of it and turned it off. Netflix, Disney Plus. Is this the one where, uh, uh, spoiler alert, Iron Man dies? Is yeah. this the Thanos one? Yeah. Okay, all right, yeah. I vaguely remember this. One of the most triumphant, triumphant scenes you've seen in it a It is movie, a dope scene. Period. Because no matter where you are, first of all, psychologically, that's what we want. Yeah. We're waiting for something... Our power is just to return from the ethers, and we smash whatever's in front of us. Yo, That's this is not a good time to be giving people superpowers. To get you on the it's the worst time. We're it, far, it couldn't be worse timing. We're far too divided at the moment and too irrational to be given. If you gave America superpowers right now, we'd have a civil war within a week. It's interesting. He's kind of talking about the same shit uh, David was on that other video about the, the Kali Yuga, yeah, yeah, where yeah. everyone's going to get their, their eight oh, superpowers. He's, he's talked about the Kali Yuga before. Before, I think because he's done the thuggy thing where that's What's that thuggy is like uh, I want to say Indian or some shit was the ghetto version of Wally it's the it was like the prerequisite to thug okay but a thuggy was like a dark spirit or some shit I don't know brother panic has a video talking about it I watched it a while back interesting Inside, because the last man standing with Thanos was America and that was in direct answer to my ritual Oh, because in the fight, they made the movie in response to Brother Paddock's ritual. That makes sense if you th- if he talked it into existence. Fucking believe the lie. Well, this is I mean it's the Lavar Ball. It's Lavar Ball. You got to you got to talk your reality into being. 
I used to think the secret was dumb. I still kind of do. But the more I look into all these sort of uh, self-help gurus, everyone's essentially pitching some version of the secret. Hey, brother, lie to yourself. Thanos actually broke his shield, as I told everybody. Thanos to. does break so his that shield. Was the ritual in Thanos represented us. We all oh, they that. stole the idea of breaking a shield from him. Thanos, but specifically, Marvel was like, "Hey, this lunatic! He's buying these <laughs> toy shields to break." Whole- Some guy in South Carolina bought six hundred uh, Captain America dolls. Yeah, let's put that in the movie. That seems to be a real big thing with the people. <laughs> Shit is certain motherfuckers ain't supposed to be here. I'm trying to restore balance to the universe. That's everything we're trying to do with Amen. a snap. Nigga, all I have to do is this. Is he siding with Thanos? And then all I, things that I aren't think, supposed to be here. I think he might not. be. That's what we've been trying That's to do. That's his phone once again since ringing. We, since we became conscious of being here. So. A little pro tip for everyone out there. When you take mushrooms, turn your phone to airplane mode. You don't want to be getting calls and texts when you're when you're tripping on mushrooms. Also, when you're recording a private video, that'd be nice too. But yeah. seeing as he's uh, intermittently hitting the hookah, I don't, I don't think uh, bothering the viewer. I mean, it's fucks with him too look, much. Look, if you're committed to just not answering your phone, that that works as well. It's just some people don't have the strength. No, and sometimes you know, negative text might slip, and the negative entities will come and tear you down. Well, he's been smoking his herbs. He's fine. Yeah, he's got that brother now panic. Now that you know pack. who everybody is. He did the exact ritual I told you to do, break the shield. Okay. And it became dramatic when he broke the shield. And what does that and accomplish? Captain America was down and now. Well, I need a new shield. <laughs> all that bullshit came back from the ethers. Iron Man snapped his fingers, which is what he wanted, but to make you look like all of your power was coming back and uh-huh. you share for it. But actually, right. They were using your power, as I told you, they always do. No one man Against should you. have all that That power. represented what they actually said in the Matrix. If they're still in the Matrix, then you're, they're your enemy. So though all of those things well, were symbolic. Is. Every single one of these guys got to bring up the Matrix. I feel better already. I think it's impossible. It really is such a critical movie in the the world is fake mindset. The, the Wachowski sisters really, really did a number on a generation of conspiracy yeah. theorists. Like, that's a hard one for anyone to get past because it's the perfect metaphor for everything they've been saying. It also makes me feel shame because The Matrix is my favorite movie of all time. It's fucking awesome. But I feel like I can't say it's my favorite movie of all time anymore. It's cliche. These people have ruined it. Yes, it's become uh, like a fake woke movie. It's played out like, oh, you know, my favorite movie is The Matrix because we really are just like living in one. I just thought it was cool a guy could dodge bullets, but no, everything's got to be a fucking metaphor. I just like fucking Keanu Reeves. They're still in The Matrix. They were brought back in The Matrix, and when they come back to The Matrix, they're finding the thing. I can't believe they never made that a good video game. If they're not dead. No, there was a good one on uh, PS2. Seems Seems like a missed opportunity. Enter the Matrix. He just sent them niggas back home. And let the meek, these white people, have this shit. (laughs) Word. I do be being meek. All right, so the white people are meek, which means we'll inherit the earth. Meek Mill? It all makes sense. Meek Mill is a He's white. I knew it. Plant. My, Meek Mill was white all along. Like we weren't dead. No wonder the justice system so treated them so that. well. If they could come back, they weren't dead. So if they weren't dead, where were they? That could be a whole nother lecture of speculation. <laughs> Please don't make that a whole, no whole nother lecture. Dimension. I mean, I think they were they dead. They were no longer on Earth in third dimension. They were actually free. They were free. Freed niggas. Oh, he is siding with Thanos. Word. Captain he freed him from this shell. To use you for his fucking goal. Or maybe this is just like weird nihilistic philosophy and he's saying death is really freedom. I mean, I think that's also kind of what he is saying. So they answered us, meaning we're not that petty. I had to think about this shit reasonably. So I ate a bunch of mushrooms yeah. and smoked no, a bunch of hash yeah, oil. To me, Rich, to be honest, is exactly what we would do. I had to clear my mind by this is, this drowning is, it in drugs. This is why I know we relate very well to these people and do well with them in a room. Because that's how I would go about it. I'd be like, look, I wanted to do the reasonable thing. So I had an eighth of mushrooms, smoked a ton of weed, and I had to think about it. It may not be the right way, but it's the most fun way. Well, and really, that's all that matters. It might not be the right way for anyone else, but it's our method, and it works for us. It's everyone has their own shamanic rituals. Yeah, that's just 
what we have chosen to indulge in. Yeah, so I think I think our the the fact that we take the same method as them removes our white devilness. But the problem is we don't reach the same conclusions. Sometimes we do. Yeah. Yeah, we actually agreed with Bobby a fair amount last week. Yeah, I agree with him more than I disagree with him. He's just a funny motherfucker. It's hard not to laugh. Now, maybe maybe they're, as we, we imbibe more of their uh, philosophy, they're, they're slowly shifting our, our honky minds to, to believe what they believe. Oh, I think I think the way we can repent from our white devil uh, our honkiness. Yeah, our honkiness I just like is, saying the word honky. is by helping to uh, get the message out from our brethren. We can speak yeah. to the other cracker ass yeah. crackers on behalf all, all of these, the black delegation. These stupid corporations just throwing money at Black Lives Matter. They're not doing anything. We're doing something. We're we're, we're promoting. We're doing <laughs> the Lord's work. No ego. No the ego. black lords, not white Jesus. So Another guy who talks about not having an ego when he just said Marvel stole his idea for the most popular movie of the last decade. Yeah, but he said it egoless. Say, this movie, they got that from me. This movie, they got that from me. I, I can't really wait to start claiming other, that. But I, didn't I guess actually we already have the, with the Simpsons the and the who do 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 Yeah, do, yeah. <laughs> maybe we are so just big. as delusional as they are. No, they stole that from us. They <laughs> fucking stole it from us, all right? Why would they be thinking about little old you? You get what I'm saying? Oh, and word. In this case, He's little a old us. You know, dressing maybe, the haters. maybe not. So I took it as maybe, maybe not. I didn't invest. In all right. Play. That's Until reasonable. it started happening to me. And again, I'm trying to be no ego and not say nothing until, like I said, I said <laughs> Dr. Strange. That bitch did my whole class. Look, folks, I don't mean to brag. Dr. Strange stole his whole shit? Yeah, he is Dr. Strange. Why don't these people? That I was a I was a white doctor that crashed his Ferrari going eighty five on the PCH two. Going back to the Matrix, there was a uh, black woman who claimed that she wrote basically the Matrix mix with Terminator back in the eighties, and then she tried to sue uh, the studio for like two trillion dollars or something. I thought you were talking about the black lady in the Matrix that Neo no, goes no, to meet. No, not the Oracle. Yeah, I thought you were talking <laughs> no, about the Oracle. No, real life lady. Two trillion dollars, that's a pretty hefty sum. She lost the lawsuit, shockingly. Shocker. But it, she was on a, a similar line of thought that Brother Panic's on. Interesting. And hands down, people in my class was telling so he does realize it takes like that made me many years see, to make those movies. The scenes, what are they doing? No, Turns not out, really. They went online. Special effects. Something called either tutting or tooting. One of the Word. pronunciation, but it's is that the new this, craze on it, TikTok where you do your, you actually pose like King Tut in his tomb? Tutting. It's like yeah. planking, but for a pharaoh. But for yeah, for pharaohs. One of the, I don't know the pronunciation, but it's. This is just art of moving your hands in a certain way. And these big motherfuckers is bad. They be doing this shit. Oh, okay. He's talking shit. about the people who wear really like the finger the lights at raves and, and oh, do that so shit. Brother Panic was partying. Yeah. And this is cool. how they use the hand gestures. Raves stole the idea of ecstasy <laughs> from me. <laughs> I came up with ecstasy. <laughs> Took him and had him. I smashed it off fucking Captain America's one. shield. <laughs> Collaborator. On the movie, those light shows are pretty cool. Doctor Strange and the rest of them how to do the hand gestures, based upon him being a master. Oh, he's talking about the shit they do in the movie to do their magic. Oh, okay. On YouTube for this, which they stole from raids. Notice, (laughs) not only is my uh, uh, site called the Cult Lectures, right? Everything I say is a cult, a cult, a cult, a cult, a cult. If you look up a cult, anything, and I've tried it. My face comes up on a YouTube video. All right, let's Anything try that. You, any, almost any you know, if you subject, Google Corey you Good, that is a cult. <laughs> we come up come at about up. So even 15 if down. Person a, I'm always person B, C, and D on that list. So it stands to reason. Let's see if that, I, I searched a cult video on mm-hmm. YouTube. The mm-hmm. first video, not him. Second one, not him. Third, not him. Fourth, not him. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Also not him. Well, then clearly the algorithm's now racist. I think uh, people tend to forget that the uh, the shit you search for affects your search results. Maybe he meant if you search for his channel, like I, <laughs> he's the first 10 that come up. If you search my name, yeah. I will come up. 
it, it reminds me there was someone I knew who was complaining about getting like uh, gay porn type ads. I was like, those are targeted based on what you <laughs> like. So unless someone's breaking into your apartment and looking for gay porn. Oh, once again, my streak of the FBI recruiting me via Twitter continues. You know, it's after we talked about that, I saw it too on Instagram. I'm telling you, you'll see it every time. They're fucking coming for us. Psyched. Anyone who's trying to look for what's popping in the occult world to just to do a movie, not because they're sinister, not because they're they're pro panic and they're in the panic. I wonder if he looked at if he read panic. the comic books before this to check the actual basis the movie is on. Uh, I would assume he's a comic book guy. Yeah, I would too, because the comic books would probably be where you'd want to go. Although I guess they changed just enough that maybe the movie's a little different represents just because i come up they have to look if they have to look i guarantee you if they're trying to do something or see something but another dude i would doing. love to have on brother panic fuck yes i think uh we've we've talked about this the problem is when people see our videos and we do nothing but mock them for three and a half nah, hours. Nah, you get me in a room with him, we'll be fine. <laughs> he's going to punch you in the fucking face is what he's going to nah, do. Nah, whatever. If he wants to get one in and then we can be cool with it, fine. That's we'll, cool. We'll give him his five minutes. Yeah, we we love. The hey. thing is, though, we agree. We just like to, I mean, we mock ourselves, too. Like, yeah, call, he gets, if he gets to call us Cracker, I think we're even. It's bashing out of love. Yeah, we're goofing. Except for David and Corey. I don't like either of them. Yeah, they're, that one's <laughs> a little more real now. I can talk for five hours. But the most impressive Word thing, can. which y'all don't understand, is when I tell you, you can take this as a symbol. I can fuck for that. seven. I just waged in a He's uh, got an herb pack for that. that they're gonna have what do you think's in the hookah? He's just free basing Viagra. In the underground. I'm hard as shit. Why don't I have priapism? <laughs> their answer to such a mass. <laughs> New from Blue to a hookah pack. <laughs> because it's not just us, it's white. Free days in Viagra is fucking. Smoke this 30 minutes before you plan to fuck your girl. That's uh, that's real that sicko America shit. Can, can pull from the ether because they got you under control, dumb niggas. Yeah. Ooh, when he Once punctuates it with the hookah hit. Them it's nice. Here, He's got a flair for the dramatic. From the ethers, which they just showed you. So they showed the breaking of the shield, which was the. He's still on about the shield. That I Very it's, traumatic to It's him. a pivotal scene. And the answer was I still got these niggas under mind control. So here's what we do. What do we do? What do He's we do? He's got them under mind control? Yeah. All yeah. right. All right. What do we do? I, I, I don't want to you know, cast aspersions at the man, but. The, the pictures of his house I saw on his website doesn't seem like the house of a man who has a multi-billion dollar corporation under mind control. Well, he's a humble man. He, and doesn't, maybe, he doesn't need to flash like that. Maybe I'm just greedy, but if I had the power to impact some of the highest grossing movies of all time, I'd work in a way for me to get a little little money on the back end. Well, you know. That's just the way I think. You well, know, that's the he, Jew cracker I was about to say, you're Jewish, though, and the white devil. See, he is just a brother trying to do right. I got to open my third eye. Yeah, you got to darken your skin. <laughs> we crack this bitch again because they damn sure ain't coming out with another He keeps one. coughing when he hits the hookah. We crack it again. It's because he's hitting it we so, crack it, understanding so hard and emphatically game. that he's we choking. We crack it saying the end game now, and we start pulling out these Goddamn so, crackers. Then he does have I a three and a half hour video on Wakanda. Because he is symbolic oh. of the kind He's now pulled out a Thanos action yeah. figure. A Thanos. If you could get the glove. Still in the box, sealed. It's a comic book man. <laughs> so, Mint condition. You take this symbol now that you have wide. In the packet is worth $142. Fucked up. Put it in the opposition to you. Start snapping at it. Ooh. You get that glove better. Man. Daddy, why are you breaking all my toys? <laughs> the Captain America yo yo's the ops. He said you gotta start, you just gotta snap at it. Like a sharks versus jets battle. He's just taunting a yo yo. This <laughs> bitch. What you gonna do? Huh? Nope. Huh? He, you go fight. He's taunting a tool of oppression used by the cracker ass huh? crackers. Huh? You want some, you fucking yo yo? <laughs> isn't that uh, what people like? Weren't yo yos? Weren't they weapons in ancient history? I, I've heard that before. I, if you I made have it a hard of, time believing it's true. I mean, I guess if you made it out of like metal, it's like a gay nunchuck. Yeah, it's a pretty lame weapon if you're using a yo yo as a weapon. If it was designed as a weapon, a white person designed it. 
you activate Thanos. So look, you can you also do this too. <laughs> He's pulling the string on the back of the doll. <laughs> I'm just high off my own supply, nigga. Yeah. Of course. I yeah. Oh, he's, he's cracking Yo. the seal on one of the packages. He's going to diminish its value. He don't give a fuck. He also just said he needs some liquor. I'm fuck starting yeah. to like this guy more and more. I'm telling you, we might disagree Yo, on a few oh, little oh, points. Fundamentally. But on the greater good, we're right there, brother. Let's do it. When you get down to the core the of things our that, humanity. The things that matter. Yes. Getting yes, the fucked important up, things. Getting fucked up and talking about this shit. Plus, if we had him in the room... We wouldn't be just commenting, be like, damn, that's wild. So how many of those do you break a year? <laughs> how do I get to your level? How many yeah. Captain America how dolls many, how do many I do I need to step on? Yeah, what's the quota we got to hit? Bro, we going to treat America like a bum. Amen. Oh, did, did he crack open? He cracked open the Thanos. Unboxing video. <laughs> it's a it's a very bizarre turn for Ryan's toy reviews. <laughs> this is He went down a dark path. You see, Ryan it's fell into there. the occult. This represents us. Purple you know, motherfuckers. Now, All right, right, so Thanos represents, represents us. Conscious moment. We tried to meet. See, we was lucky enough to have a little hollow up here somewhere. They got to the bottom down. Not even gonna get it hot. His room is deceptively big. I keep thinking that wall's much closer Ooh, to him, but he moves around. Ah, Anybody brother, brother, Panic drink? got a nice setup. Anybody he's also I like that he's scooting. He's scooting at a chair with no wheels, though. You can hear the chair scraping against the floor. Anybody who's a drinker. Anybody <laughs> Fuck these floors. Oh, he is you bringing it out. What this is? What's this? And you probably can smell this shit. I, I think it might up? be. I think it might be like an Everclear type. Oh, goddamn speaker. That's how this shit is. Yo, this dude rules. He never got this turn in the other videos I watched. I gotta tell you, if there's one thing that doesn't raise your level of spirituality, it's ever clear. Well, maybe not your white devil spirituality. That's true. I don't have the melanin necessary. Yeah, you don't know what the effects of alcohol are on a highly melanated person. I've never uh, meditated while hammered, though. Highly melanated sounds like high fructose corn syrup. <laughs> it's like one of the euphemisms they use to market <laughs> something else. Yeah. So anoint him. He's pouring be booze on Thanos. Yeah. It'd be funny if he just you broke the him. bottle over Thanos' head. <laughs> Starts stabbing him with a broken Bitch bottle. Bitch, motherfucker. It's just 30 minutes of him shanking uh, toys. Time to wake up, nigga. <laughs> See, these symbols become a gateway. Okay. Oh, word. It's time to wake up, so we're about to wake him up. Now, do we get, like, secondhand magic from this video because we're watching someone do the ritual? Do we get the impact That's of the ritual? That's an interesting question and something I'd love to ask him because I don't know. Can you get the secondhand effects of the these types of uh, rituals? Does, well, that, is it, does it work like that? Because a lot, of, a lot of, like, energy healers and shit, you can buy sessions on Zoom. Yeah, so, Grandma Chandra will hear you, heal you for like four hundred dollars via Wi-Fi and uh, Zoom. That's Grandma Chandra is one of the only videos we did where I think I got so sad watching it that we had to turn it off. It, what's funny is we did that before we had video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that was just us listening to a video. Grandma Maybe, Chandra. You know for what, those who don't know, you know, we're don't even bring it up. We're gonna do that for another Patreon at some point. Maybe in the next retarded. I was just gonna say, I think yeah. Grandma Chandra is a retarded yeah, in plain sight. Some of those videos are a bit of a bummer. Retired in plain sight, out tomorrow. Yeah, out tomorrow. It's a good episode. It is a good one. It is a good one. Don't give, him, give, him that, give him that shower, baby. Yeah, this dude rules. <laughs> oh, just straight out the bot. Oh, he did the Bobby thing. He's spitting the, the voodoo. Uh, yeah, we got to start spitting spit liquor. On, we got to start spitting hey, on stuff more. Bobby, I'm not Bobby, wasting Bobby, liquor. Five. Oh, I think he just mentioned Bobby. <laughs> did he? Oh, sorry. Ed, body, arm, um, arm, body. Oh. five. Oh, okay. he, he did the a la yeah, head, just leg, leg, arm, head. Thank God for our, our love of underground <laughs> rap music. It really helps us understand <laughs> the occult the references and I, vague Muslim shit. I never thought it would work its way back into yeah. my life in this fashion. I didn't think just Allah would help me so much. We were doing a research yeah, that entire time. We didn't even know it. <sighs> did he even drink Back any of that booze? This is 192 proof. Oh, my tongue is... 192 proof. You know what's funny is Al Alex was making a comparison earlier to something being like 200 proof alcohol, but he was making it as like a joke. 
Wait, 192 proof. I didn't is... think you could get to 192. 190. He, Alex was saying 200 proof is in like that would be pure alcohol. Well, what it is is whatever the proof is, you divide by two, and that's the percentage. So that yeah, would Alex be... said 200 would be 100. percent So that's almost 100. That's 96 percent. Which uh, yo, that's basically like fucking isopropyl alcohol. Holy shit. We had. Uh, this is how strong shit like that is. We had it in the lab back in the day. We had the the hundred percent. They didn't call it proof because it was you know for lab purposes. You're not supposed Don't to be taking shots of it. Don't drink that shit, motherfucker. But it's so volatile that depending on how warm the room was, you could pour it in something and it would just start Evaporate. evaporating. Yeah, like gasoline. It burns like a motherfucker. I mean, I can. I'm sure you're basically drinking gasoline. But. The good thing is, one shot is like three and a half shots. You know what's funny is a weird little plot line they did on the Flash uh, TV show on CW or whatever. But one of the things is he couldn't get drunk because his metabolism is too fast. So they created like this 10,000 proof liquor <laughs> for him to drink and he just gets shit faced on it. And they gets a DUI for running too fast. That's what I hope. I was hoping that's what it would be. I think he does crash running home. That's hilarious. It, they... The first few seasons of the Flash is actually pretty good. Fire motherfuckers. Oh, god damn. That's <laughs> oh, nigga, I feel this nigga. Yeah. What? He sounds like me after I take a shot on camera. What? Is, oh, he just cracked oh, open a water. Never mind. I, I thought he was opening a tall can at first. I'm going to chug a whole fucking thing of this shit. All right. Whew. Time yeah. to get down to business now? Is that. Uh... So now, I don't exactly understand wasting your good you know, booze spitting on dolls. Why don't you use cheap booze? It's kind of like the, uh, the or does pour it, one out for the homies thing. I'm I not guess. wasting my, my intoxicating substances on meaningless ritual. That's true, and I guess if it's 192 proof, you're not drinking too much of that. Everything is going straight to my liver. That's None true. will be poured out for the <laughs> homies. The homies would appreciate that. Yeah, they, they would want me to be economical in my choices. Yeah, the homies would never ask you to waste booze. Now you whisper what you want him to do. Suck my dick. <laughs> so we we got to talk to Thanos now. To smoke. Thanos, suck my dick. <laughs> yeah, buddy. He's blowing smoke on Thanos like I do to to dry my paintings. Ways. Wake. <laughs> All right, uh, his phone going off again. Right as he's whispering. Can we pump up the volume for this section? Because I pump 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 up the volume. I want to see if we can hear what he's yeah, whispering ahead. to him. Consciousness. Consciousness. Wake. Wake. His, his phone's covering all the whispering. Oh, what are we doing? Put the, the captions on. Oh, yes. My apologies. I, I heard here. consciousness and awake. This is Thanos now. Okay. This power is here. With us. I say, I say, this nigga represents us as conscious people. I see, I can see in one moment from my space to now, one moment in him. He's that symbol of that. This is what Thanos is. I just simply whispering it. It is, I bring it into being. Let it be so. Who is God? I am God. Therefore, I'm, I bring forth life. All Amen. Of these statues, all of these pictures are gateways to the, to the energy that all comes of this away. I'm God, too. This, I got to be honest. I don't I'm think, God, and I endorse this message. I don't think he said a single thing of meaning in this, like, first 30-something minutes. Well, that's, that's what I said is fun about him, is he can go on these long diatribes, and then at the end you realize, like, wait a minute. Did he actually say anything there? Because sometimes you just miss what he's said because he talks in these long, rambling interludes. They uh, they did a, a study. This is a long way to go for the point I'm trying to make, but bear with me. They mm -hmm. did a study back in the day on people who speed read, mm -hmm. and uh, you know they, they, they gave them... Turns out they're lying. ...topics to read, and they had a control group, and within the, the shit they had them speed read, one of the, the tests was they took... Uh, basically a sentence. Each sentence was from a different book. Mm -hmm. And they asked the people to read it. And obviously, they fucking skimmed through it and didn't realize it was all a bunch of garbled nonsense. Yeah. It feels like each sentence he says is disconnected from the last one. I think he's taking a sentence from multiple sources. 
uh, and uh, trying to tie them together. Potentially, it could also be the effects of the uh, mushrooms, mushrooms and the kicking in. Oil yeah, the mushrooms the kicking in because he's saying sentences that just don't actually connect, but he's connecting them like they do. He's talking in uh, Instagram captions. Yeah, like yeah. Like one after another. Like we gotta take down America. I think he's also probably Thanos got, is a symbol. He probably also had a few like things written down that he wanted to say, and he's coming in and out of remembering that. That is, I I, I uh, can relate to that struggle. Yeah. Now, from about this point on, it's pretty much, you know, we'll see. Oh, hold on, we froze again. Uh, all right, we're back. I have a conspiracy of my own that I uh, decided upon like five seconds ago. Our technical glitches appear to have coincided with you starting to get the FBI ads on Twitter. That is true. Because right? they started around the same time. They started really picking up. Yeah, interesting correlation there. I didn't think of that before. And if I've learned anything from watching these guys, that means we just got to say ridiculous shit. The FBI is watching us, and we know that for a fact. I've known that for 100% a, true. I've known that for a while. It's just now that they're recruiting me out in the open. They got the idea for the FBI from me. We invented. J. Edgar Hoover came to me before I was born. <laughs> and he actually asked you, hey, how can I protect the country while also covering up my gay sex crimes? I told him to kill the president. You told him to frame all those people for uh, underage prostitution? Yes. I'm the reason JFK. You were like, hey, you need to go get naked pictures of Martin Luther King Jr. You think those are still floating around somewhere? Of course. There's audio of Martin Luther King Jr. fucking. What? They have audio of him fucking. Yeah, they, they bugged his houses. Is they the were audio, following him. Is it out? Uh, I think you can find it. I don't know how much of it's been released, but yeah, they had... Well, Space Weirdo Friday next week is going to take a bizarre twist. They had people following him everywhere. Like, J. Edgar Hoover was determined to get MLK on some shit. It's got to be a little awkward as the agent when, like, you're just following a guy around and you just get nothing but audio of him jacking off. And then J. Edgar Hoover's like, no, I need you to give me this audio. Turn it up. Turn yeah, it up. I think he may have his own personal reasons for uh, yeah. wanting that audio. Oh, J. Edgar Hoover's a fucking freak. He's wearing fishnets and yeah. beating himself ferociously. The fact that J. Edgar Hoover still has the fucking FBI building named after him when he was just literally sexually blackmailing people while himself being a closeted homosexual, hilarious. The oldest thing in the book, yeah. they, they're no. fucking projecting. Tear down those Confederate statues, <laughs> but the pervert can keep the FBI building. Symbol of that. Back to Thanos. So now that we understand this is the, our opposition. Now he, he is playing with the toys. In one hand, he has his Thanos doll. In the other hand, he has his Captain America shield slash yo-yo. The yo-yo's still in the packaging, though. He hasn't. And then Thanos was like, I'm going <laughs> to get you, Captain America. Now, this is the one time I'll be willing to forgive this, because the man is pretty turnt. He's, he's a little that's, uh, that's, fucked up, yeah, so I'm going to forgive him on this. That's what'll make this funny, because if he just devolves into playing with toys for 20 minutes, it's because the shrooms hit hard. This folks versus that which Yeah, that is a yo-yo, right? Us. Yeah, I think so. Tell it straight okay. out what we needed to do. You understand what I'm saying? Don't know why he bought the yo-yo version. I think he's talking to that yo-yo. We break that fucking shield again. And this time, each time we have Thanos with us, as he stands with us, right? <laughs> and we snap our fingers, we represent that one thing. It's an extension he's, of it through the center. He's moved Thanos into a uh, center frame. And now Thanos is co-starring in this uh Space weirdo video. This is now making me want to go buy the, some of these action uh, like figurines and just do like stop motion animation of like the gay Avengers or something. If, if he breaks out like a GI Joe or something, <laughs> or just has Thanos fucking Barbie. <laughs> the next table read we have to use figurines. Ooh, you know, speaking of table reads, you know what did come out? What is uh, Corey emailed everyone like the who bought the uh, the comic book? I'm oh, sorry, graphic novel. graphic novel. I think they sent out like the first thirty. Pages pages or something sweet it looks terrible i read of uh, course it's gonna be demo. terrible he fucking wrote it that doesn't mean i'm not gonna get it though well if we could do a table read out of it oh, i'm trying to get the power across to that one thing you understand what i'm saying we not really i really see. don't quite understand what you're saying to that one thing not nah, i'm saying and each time behind me I'm going to see. Oh, yeah, just like up. I, was saying, yeah, yeah. I saw right so there he's going. I feel for your brother. But that wall behind I him must be wild when he's tripping. 
I'll give him that. That'd scare the hell out. Oh, wait. If that was the whole plan. I think there's a picture of Brother Bobby in the back there. Yeah, right there. He loves Brother Bobby. All right, cool. Yeah, just over his his left shoulder. Ironically, a, right above the pentagram. Yes, is a picture of Brother Bobby. Faces that we know in consciousness, whether they're speakers or not. And what, forget their philosophy. Don't. Already so forgot it. About that. <laughs> yeah, consider no that done. The Moorish philosophy Check. is, no matter what the Nuwabian philosophy is. Nuwabian? That sounds like waffles. They all want this shit. Oh, new, I thought he said new YBM. I thought he was talking about like a new album coming out. Oh, no, no. New that new YBM Corday. <laughs> that Corday philosophy. That shit fire, brothers and sisters. YBM, Namir. It over. They all want this Holocaust over. YBN broke so this shield before he recorded it. Just see. Moors coming through, red pill, blue pill, right? Sonetta, young Pharaoh, uh huh, <laughs> uh huh. It's uh, it's coming off the rails a little bit. <laughs> he's he's playing with toys, snapping, and just naming things. Toyota, just, <laughs> Honda, Ford, Nissan, Honda. We gotta start. Put way less effort into our videos. I gotta go get. Where, I gotta fucking hit up Doc Fox. Where are my goddamn mushrooms at? As a as a challenge, maybe we can do this. Uh, we should each try and just go solo for like fifty minutes. A solo show and just see because. I thought about doing that if we did it, and then for the retarded in plain sight, we could like cut them down and and review them because they they have nothing to play off of. He only has what's in the room, and that's I think true. that's what leads to you know His you got to fill an hour. You might end up playing with a Thanos doll and snapping. That'd be hilarious. I'm I'm in for it. I don't know. Do you think you can go fifty minutes? Because I can talk about nonsense for quite a while. I grew up talking to myself in the TV. I don't know if you can do 50 uh, minutes. Yeah, I don't know if I could go solo. I, I could probably get like 10, 10, 15. I we'll, could do a tight 15. We'll make it a 15-minute pilot, and we're back. Uh, Farrell I don't know, maybe Pockran is who I was trying to, uh, I was asking Jay. Maybe run it back a second or two and we can check. Joe Pokram. Joe Pokram. Shit, niggas you know on Facebook, anybody. <laughs> oh, that was just, it was just one of the names he was announcing while snapping. Okay. Yeah. All coming through polite all now teaming up against this uh, against he's, the vicious he summoned a team of people to fight his yo-yo <laughs> yo he's gonna fuck this yo-yo up all right they blades <laughs> let it rip Spider-Man comes that would be funny if it just evolved into more complex <laughs> yo-yos energy has no name and that's all they're doing. They're <laughs> it's a funny move to name something and then say it has no name. Oh. Energy has the thing I just referred to by a name has no name. You know, I know I just named it, but it doesn't actually have one. A rose by any other name has no has name. Has no name. <laughs> Which is empty. Every rose has a thorn, but not a name. Brother Shakespeare. Behind, uh, uh, <laughs> Came behind Captain America. Yeah, he's lit. Is yeah, it's fucking energy. lit. Yeah, is as he should power. be. They just use it. If you're gonna be playing so with toys in your weird occult sex dungeon, you might as well be a little uh, fucked up. Well, it's if you ate shrooms like 35 minutes in, you should be starting to lose it a little. Is how we already were doing that shit. We were making superheroes that helped us down here while we went through the human plight. We are the ultimate superhero. Word. These things are all from our mind. Ooh, popping his and collar a little. white guy who got it named Stan Lee. Word. <laughs> so Stan Lee's getting guys. credit. All right, okay. see, there are, there are exceptions. White and black unity, finally. There are exceptions to the rule. See, this is where I think we fall in. Stan Lee's dead, right? Yes, he's dead. Rest that in peace. Was, uh, he's no longer assaulting his caretakers. Yeah, there was a big article uh, probably about a year ago at this point, about how I think it was uh, they were accusing his daughter of stealing his whole estate. Basically, oh, we talked about it. Yeah, his family. Like, his fa yeah, we talked about it on one of the episodes I think because his family was trying to basically get all his money before he died. Yeah, because uh, he, he was on the way out. He was kind of living maybe not in the best conditions as well, a result of his daughter's actions. And it was from on, what I remember. And on top of that, he was like you know trying to get his nurses to blow him. It, it, once you. Cross ninety. I remember because we did say a, some wild shit. We did a whole bit about it, like, "Hey, baby, you want to come blow Spider Man?" <laughs> See, I don't know if they have a one star author. 
And Bob Batman is their star shit by Bob Crane. These were occultists. Oh, Bob. Wow. I didn't realize DC and Marvel were just occultists. No, that just triggered a weird memory I had. I had a neighbor. That you'd suppressed? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Welcome to the Suppression and Plain Sight <laughs> podcast. No, I had a neighbor uh, named Bob Crane when I was growing up. He was a, he was actually a news dude. He was he was like a weatherman on one of the local channels. Uh-huh. But uh, he used to get a bunch of fan mail for the Batman Bob Crane because <laughs> people just looked up. They just look it up in the yellow pages and shit? Well, it kind of tracks because like his name's Bob Crane. Yeah. He lives in Los Angeles. A lot of people kind of did that math. How many Bob Cranes can there be? Yeah, so this mailbox used to just be flooded like, thank you for Batman. I would have taken the credit if I were him. I would have written him back asking for money. <laughs> yeah, donate to my Patreon. Hey, Batman, look, the, the, the Joker's got a lot of weapons. <laughs> I need more money to fight this fight. Or just guys with heavy imagination. Go to the Patreon, www.patreon slash Batman.com. Like Stan Lee, perhaps. If he wasn't an occultist, the occultist knew what to do with him. Mm. Oh, and they'd be using him. He's that with yours. He's an old puppet. And put symbols on him. Spider-Man, Batman. Uh, uh, he so does <laughs> understand. I think. Hold on. He just, we've been talking about superheroes for 40 minutes at this point. He goes and he's trying to list as many as he can. He goes, Batman, Spider Man, the rest of them. <laughs> like he, <laughs> he, back one time. he did a We Got Miller. No, no. He started doing it, but listen to the pause. Miller Light. Listen to the pause between Spider Man, Batman before he comes up with Superman. The energies that were yours as your birthright. And put symbols on them: Spider Man, Batman. Uh, uh, <laughs> he completely ran out of steam. That was the shrooms right there. And Wonder Woman, uh, Aquaman, Wonder Woman, uh, Iron Man, Hulk. Oh, see, now he's overcompensating because yeah. he realized he looks stupid, so he now he's got to, he's got to overdo Man, it. And they think I ain't got no shit about comics. I got I got to swag out. And the rest, they put. At least he didn't do the etc. Yeah, <laughs> the etc. Pisses me Ideas. off. Ideas on raw power that goes any way the idea goes or goes any way the symbol go. Some of you may look and go, this is nothing but a plastic doll. Yes. I just made it a symbol. Like when you were a kid, if I was a guy and I took this everywhere and said, he's my friend, why do you have to put him down, Panic? But he protects me. Not In from the bullies. Mind, <laughs> I invoke that energy and that's why. See, now you, this is something I agree now with. That's a still. This <laughs> <laughs> this is what I was talking about before, is that as long as you really... That's, that's a meme right there. Even with the captions, in my mind, I invoke that energy, and that's why. If if you really believe it, he's right. We shouldn't be demeaning people just because they found something that makes them happy, and I'm miserable. Yeah. I, I support the, this type of activity. I mean, that's how I feel they should respect our, our uh, degeneracy. Like, we found something that makes us... I don't know, happy is the right word, but it, it gets us through the day. Don't judge us for it. Unfortunately, the thing we found is bringing other people down. Whatever. We can do it, both. So it's What a, if we're bringing them down to bring them up? How can we be bringing, bringing him down? Yeah, I actually don't think we're bringing him down. We just got to... We only bring down white people. A man... And Carrie Cassidy. <laughs> well, I think we'll do Carrie next week. Yeah, there's, but there's she some... does, she's earned it. Yes. Works. For me. In fact... I, I hate to keep cutting it off, but if uh, following along the lines of Avengers, if we were to split our space weirdos into two teams, we've we've on the the white delegations got David, Corey, and Carrie. The mm -hmm. black delegations got uh, Brother Panic, Bobby, and uh, Rap the News. You want to segregate the space weirdos? I don't, don't agree with that. <laughs> don't you remember the episode of Survivor where they they split up the uh, tribes based on race? I'm surprised that got through, but no, I don't exactly remember that one. It actually wasn't even that Today many years ago. Today on Survivor, ago. the whites fight the blacks for control of the idol. My point being, we we uh, I'm taking the black delegation in that battle of the space weirdos. I much prefer listening to these guys oh, of talk course, of over course. the other ones. But this is why I want to bring the two together. And merge them? And merge them. Into, into a beautiful I just, mixed... I want just Space the weirdo. strangest, strangest group of folk we can gather from all realms and sectors. They all have something unique to bring to the table. Yeah, that and I like more. To more, teach you about lying to yourself. I want more brothers bringing in because the white folk done lost their minds. You don't have to understand. You don't have to 
uh, 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 feel the benefit, but it ain't for you. You have to right. do it for you. Can yeah. you imagine so the first Space you, Weirdo Friday just, conference? <laughs> It'd be a, a bunch of people lining up to kick us in the nuts. <laughs> no, nah, I'd just be like, Brother Panic, he's going to have a seven-hour spot today. You would have to, you'd David have to book Wilcock a theater. Is gonna have, no, David Wilcock's going to get six and a half hours to himself. You would have to book a theater for 50 straight hours if we allowed <laughs> each of these people to talk. That's what I mean, but how, how awesome would it be? It'd be like back in the day when What's, Chappelle was doing stand-up for 13-hour sets. What's the Guinness Book World Records for the longest conference? Conference, I don't know. There was that radio DJ way back in the day who did like 70 straight hours and was just hallucinating. Because if we get enough of our hitters, we can easily cover that amount of time. Yeah, we're going to take over contact in the desert. Yeah, Space Weirdo Friday in the desert is going to be way cooler. It, it, it's going to Space Weirdo Friday in our kitchen. They're yeah. all going to come here and sit in front of our green screen. But we're going to take enough mushrooms to where everybody will believe we're in the desert. We, if if we all got together and took mushrooms, we could each enter the collective unconscious and, and sort of do a, a Vulcan mind meld. This is going to be our skank fest. <laughs> you your husband or your wife, you know, that's the grown-up way of doing it you, that you've been taught. Because you wouldn't know how to function. Not your I don't want to hear a guy talking about the grown-up way to do something way. while that's he's you. holding a toy. You know, these, adult, these adults be telling you to stop playing with toys and shit. Way. Because you have a vision in your mind of what that car is and how it should serve you. I love where he placed Thanos. You. So you directly in front gave of him. up doing that for dolls, let's just say, and started doing it for these items. That it's not a doll, it's wrong. a figurine. You know I'm saying your Gucci shoes. Mint condition. All the rest of that shit. The way you see them, the way it makes you feel when you put on Gucci shoes or expensive glasses. <laughs> or expensive oh, glasses. You see how he pointed to his glasses when he said that? Yeah. I'm, ah, what a waste of money. Flex. Flex. Thing, that's still you giving birth of a energy from your perspective to your thing. You well, he's, he's getting cool into the philosophical elements of looking fly. Yeah. So I told you, he's deep. symbolizes cool for you. See? Yeah, you know he pointed his glasses who again. I wore these glasses when I was young was cool. So they became a symbol of cool, a symbol of hip hop. Amen, All right, brother. So this sort of, I, I'm a prophet. This goes back to what I was talking about in the beginning. He was saying he saw other people rocking that shit and it became a symbol of cool. So he is mm -hmm. kind of stuck in the past with regards to. We're all stuck in a loop. Yeah. Time is a flat circle. I, I, I certainly haven't escaped from it. Yeah. I, we're, we're, I dress we're the same way every day. Well, I'm that's like just, a cartoon character. I wear the exact same shit. I barely walk the same amount of distance every day. <laughs> from, from your bedroom to the couch? Yeah, to the kitchen sometimes. Yeah, every so often one of yeah. us will venture to the kitchen. Yeah, the foreign know. realm known as the kitchen. Exactly. Of 80s hip-hop gazelles. You get what I'm saying? So that's you know what I'm saying. He's an 80s hip-hop guy. Things. Makes and sense. He's a little older. Instead of just feeling cool or something that appeases my ego can you ask for more yes you can you can ask for almost endless wisdom from them and they'll give you that don't but remember this you, part of the movie <laughs> yes this what iron man was talking about i i maybe to the object all right, that's the shrooms talking. The, the putting love into yeah. an object is uh, the, the psilocybin is kicking in. I expected he was going to go to some sort of reference to the Infinity Stones because there's so many easy ones there, but I think the shrooms are dictating where this goes from now on. Tell the first, de define what the object represents. This is going to represent the conscious community, and this is going to represent our power to me. So each time I snapping snap, I represents see power. Red pill. Brother Shabazz. Brother Shabazz. <laughs> <laughs> the captions after he said Brother Shabazz, it reads as Brother Shabazz, which is about as accurate. I think that's a, a reasonable assessment of what it is he's trying to get across. Yeah, the closed captions are some of the funniest parts of this shit. Now. They don't do well with uh, African-American vernacular. They struggle with black dudes. Brother Teff. Brother Roswell. <laughs> oh, oh, he's feeling the spirit. He's fucking hitting the hookah and snapping left and right. Snaps brother for Brother Rich. Panic. <laughs> I see their power with me. Ain't got nothing to do with their philosophy. Ain't got nothing to do with no fucking debates. But I see just it's just about their raw power. Because I know they want this Holocaust to end just as much as I do. I want him to pray for me. 
I don't know if he prays. This ain't about white people. <laughs> white people are See? just a byproduct of the one percent of them that do know. One okay. percent of them that actually have demiurge help, if you really want to know. Yeah, see, we're the one percent. Yeah, so finally. About- Thank God, I finally know how to explain <laughs> myself. No, 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 you don't understand. We're one of the good ones. We're the one percent. <laughs> so a white supremacist. If you're not a white supremacist, none of this shit matter to you. Amen. Feel no threat. Preacher. If you're a white supremacist, you should feel. Th- Some would say supremacist. Nah, but supremacist <laughs> works too. But see, yeah, we're good. We may goof. You can't touch but it's out of love. This. I'm so fortified with reverse magic. Come my way. I <laughs> what a threat. Burn. Fortified with reverse magic. I am so fortified with reverse magic that these white crackers don't have a chance. Any of these fucking so-called occultists that feel they're knocking. I'm down not sure what I would do if I was fighting man and he started casting spells. Hope I that they don't work. The personal way. I mean, well, <laughs> is he a fucking drug dealer? Why is his phone ringing every 30 seconds? Well, he's selling his magical herbs and spices. <laughs> he's fucking doing hand-to-hands with his, <laughs> his rosemary and thyme baggies. Can I get a Nicholas Sage, brother? <laughs> hey, man, you got that shit on deck? Of that which oppresses me. Of that which is oppressing me. Boom. There they go, and I see my crew rolling. As soon as I snap... My crew comes out to eat this. Ooh, Damn. he's got hitters that pop up on him like he's a jack in the box. Got, got a crew. Joe Polkram, Francis Crest Wilson. Ooh, Doctor Africa. Do- <laughs> Who the fuck is Doctor Africa? <laughs> I don't know, but his name's a little on the nose. Doctor, All right, I gotta look that Unless one up. Unless it's a white guy, that'd be funny. It could be. I'll let it keep going. Yeah. While I look this up. You get what I'm saying? Not really. I get what you're saying. Richard King. Richard Kang. That's my team. Oh, these are his Avengers. Well, when when you search Dr. Africa, I'm going to guess it's someone else because... uh, Africa is a Bambata. (laughs) Africa Bambata got uh, busted for letting a little kid suck his dick, I believe. Well, it was just a little bit. It, uh, Dr. Jonathan A. Africa... Shows up as an Asian man. I'm going to guess that's, that's not hilarious. who he's talking about. I hope to God he's an Asian man. My name is a Dr. Africa, <laughs> and I can heal all your problems. You want to crush a Marvel shield? I got them for you. I saw a clip from the Fighter and the Cl- uh, Kid podcast like a few weeks ago uh-huh. where uh, Brendan Shaw was talking with Francis Ngannou and Mike Tyson. He was talking about how he wanted to see Francis fight John Jones in Africa, but in his fucking in his in his CTE addled brain, uh-huh. he just called him John Africa. And then there's like a 10 second pause, and Mike Tyson just goes, "Who the fuck is John Africa?" <laughs> it's an excellent clip. That's fucking hilarious. God damn, he's dumb. When Mike Tyson calls you out for yeah. your verbal slippage, when Mike Tyson is like, "Hey man, I think you said some fucking stupid <laughs> shit there," like you probably are fucking retarded. They're all there, Sekhmet, Aset, Asa, Heru, Heru, Heru. <laughs> yeah, them shrooms. Is yeah, yeah, in. he's dancing now. He's putting a little shoulder shimmy behind his word. He's chanting Tupac. weird shit. Bobby Brown still. He's, he's hitting the hookah a little more Wait, aggressively. Wait, did you say I saw Tupac? Take that shit. I don't think he saw them, but I think they're part of the, the superpower season. Running back like 10 seconds? Let's see. Heru. All right, he's back. He's doing his Heru. shimmy. Heru. Tupac, Whitney Houston, Bobby Brown still, even though. We'll take that shit. We'll take him. Yeah, he's speaking in fragments. Prince, yeah. Michael Jackson. <clears throat> it's endless. Is he just reading a Spotify playlist? That's what he's about to go groove to after this. Under the symbol of Thanos. Yeah, niggas ain't right. I got my Thanos shit growing. So I didn't even notice. I got me my Thanos, Thanos got the same shit. Me and Thanos do got the same shit too. Yeah. I be got my you. Thanos going too, bro. I did it because I had to, nigga. Thanos sounds like Bill Cosby, right? <laughs> <laughs> Thanos sounds like Bill Cosby. All right, now, now yeah. it's kicked in. Finally. <laughs> hey. 
It's a slow burn. Gonna end the universe in the snow. <laughs> lay some treats on us. That's good shit. Come on, baby, lay I, some treats. Yo, on Bill Cosby us. is Thanos is a pretty good bit. Yeah. I bet he wish he could have snapped and made those allegations yeah, go away. That's that where he should have gone with it. It's funny and hey, it's hey, hey, time sound. to make it's those go away. For the small minded niggas. Come on, nigga. Join yeah. the team. Oh, so even though it sounds stupid, it just means we're too dumb to understand. Well, it's not we actually are, stupid. No, we understand. The other, these small minded bloops are the <laughs> ones who don't understand. I meant the royal we. Oh, okay. Come on in for the big win. It's happening now, son. This is how <laughs> you do it. This is what I'm telling you. Believe this it is not, how we do, this do it. it. Is the most dangerous shit. They're answering us. They answered us in Captain America Civil War. They were displaying the debates. Okay. At the time they dropped that Civil is a War, good movie. It was a heavy season of nigga debate. They watched that. <laughs> well, that's not how I remember the movie going. To right. be honest, was it Civil War? It was a heavy season of nigga debate. They watch us. Is that a subgenre of debate? I've I've not been made aware of. Yeah, it's like a battle rap, but uh, it's like <laughs> with a politi- suit on. <laughs> but it's political debate. Yeah, it's debate club, but they are uh, the people who used to battle rap. Now they do uh, uh-huh. political commentary. Yeah, they got hollowed on loaded locks up on stage it's, talking about it's just immigration. Locksmith uh, talking <laughs> about yeah, how we need the wall. Don't think what we do. I is love me some locksmith. It is. He, he's answer. pretty good. It I think he just dropped a song with Crooked. He did, yeah. It was yeah. Uh, Death Row Chain, The Only Time I Wear Blood Diamonds. Yeah, that's a, it was a good song. Very West Us Coasty. In this conscious movement, just to see what we're doing. And they know exactly who I am, what we're doing, who we are, and all the rest of that. This is not information for nobody. They already know, because they answer it. They answer you with mind control. I told you the three things you always look out for. What do we Trauma, look out for? White people. Repetition and symbols there you so go what's repetition what's the example of repetition look at that motherfucker that on the two sentence channel. string you just put together that that's like uh when a reptilian becomes a mathematician black people are even what was it? Still it was, it was trauma day. repetition and symbols symbolism yeah okay all right i'll be on the lookout people with melanin are still to this day they show you hundreds of these places that they can't explain that we are so old and ancient we cannot explain it even anymore we are out of our mind down here at this point. This Word. is, this is directly from the brother, so brother just Bobby so they school. Show it to yeah. you, they have to tell you it's aliens. But look at the way the dude keeps telling you it's aliens. Look at that star in the back, y'all, right there. The, it's perfect, five pointed, never it's seen a pentagram. Right there, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> the aliens who did it had to be the aliens. It was the aliens. Oh, it had to be the aliens. See, he hit us with an alien did. false flag. I think what he might be uh, going for is that black people are an ancient civilization and they developed a lot of the shit that the aliens are getting credit for. Oh, because so the we racist, just... the cracker ass crackers don't want to give the African population credit for their, their advanced technology. So we just braided like the Wakandan FUBU lab and took all their shit. Precisely. Oh, okay. That's exactly what I was going it to was say. It was no longer for us, by us. It's for the government, by the government. As long as we're talking about clothing, can we talk about the fact that you're wearing a woman's tank top? They're pretty comfortable, though. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm not judging. I'm just, I'm just saying. Well, because I saw them the other day, and we have a bag of them, and they're like, because these shirts, I looked into the, the catalog, and the unisex one is the same shirt. Yeah, I think so. I might... couldn't ever figure out the difference, and then I just put them on like, hey, they're fucking comfortable. What? I... We're gonna have to switch it up. I'm gonna have to start wearing tank tops. I don't think I've worn a tank top in my entire life. Oh, I just used to doing it because of basketball. I can't go play on the courts I used to in Venice anymore because now uh, there there's shootings there regularly, <laughs> and the homeless live on the court. Full screen this for a second. Get get another look at his eyes. You can see the uh, the pupils are a bit dilated at this point in the uh, yeah, this lecture. Some, there's some good still frames here. Aliens, yet again, aliens. So now if I'm a betting man, what I'm going to say? Aliens, aliens. What he's doing, you watch the show. Where can you bet on aliens? Him. Just watch. Barstoolsportsbook.com. Just listen, but watch while you listen. They've got good odds on the alien he landing. He keeps reiterating. And I told you repetition. The aliens did it. It was the aliens. The aliens 
aliens, da, 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 aliens, da, 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 aliens, aliens. What he's when you say alien, what you're really saying is foreign. Foreign. You're supposed to think some guy in the space. But he's constantly telling. He, he develops like a weird Jew accent yeah, on goes, certain words. Maybe New York. He goes it's, foreign minority. It's the O R sound. Yeah, nar. R. Maybe he's Barnes. from Minnesota. I don't know. <laughs> a black guy with Barnes. a Minnesota accent would be so very funny. See it, it makes it for while your subconscious mind may say, "I know that. I built that. I remember that." Your conscious mind is saying, "Foreign, foreign, alien, foreign." Alien. He's doing the Alex said, Jones. Yeah. Band out video. Band out video. You're now programmed that is alien and foreign. It's another move of the people, people who got to fill time solo, because I've started, I've started kind of going and studying the game film of people who are able to do it solo. Uh-huh. Repetition is is definitely in the toolbox there. Well, you have to have the reset. Because it, I think it provides them time to think of what they're trying to get to. They, they kind of, but it's, they don't want dead air for 10 it's seconds. It's the autopilot equivalent of, yeah, good anchors will be able to listen to you in their ear while they're just reading something they've read a thousand times, so they're just memorizing it. Yeah, it's very useful. It's almost necessary because when you're alone, if you forget what you're talking about, you have to reset because there's no one else be like, what the fuck are we talking about? It's why I had to, I, I forget what I'm saying sometimes in here. It's why I start breaking out the notebook. The notes? Stupid niggas think he's talking about daddies <laughs> in space and on the surface he is. Talking about daddies in space? You heard they him. They had space suits, they came down because some people want to believe that anyway. So they don't, they don't need any more. But let's say you are woke, like you like to call yourselves. Know what I'm saying? I love preach it. He's preach so, it, brother Perry. Yeah, he's very anti conscious And or you are the real deal. And you might see one of these ancient places and it may trigger something. Okay. Then you have your mind control kicks in. Alien. Alien. Foreign. Not foreign. me, <laughs> not mine. And then that's what you told your subconscious. Your subconscious now believes. Subconscious. So subconscious. Ancient memory that may be coming up is blocked. I'll attribute some of this you to understand? the you Trooms. Think, you think they fight? Yeah, he's the getting a pass from me. Donald yeah, Trump, you're a fool. I feel like I have to get a hookah next time we do shrooms <laughs> now too. It's a nice way to punctuate your point. Like it's, it's just uh, also fun to do. It's kind of his version of a mic drop where he hits what he thinks is a good point. Yeah, and he pauses to let the the audience it's, soak and and revel in his genius. It is like when the comedian hits his joke and he just holds the mic there for a minute and just lets him. He knew he killed it. Yeah, revel in it. Just yeah. Yeah. They fighting the way I'm telling you they fight right now, B. B. That's how they doing it, son. Word up, Wody. Word up. Real shout it. Word you know up. What I'm saying, son. For real high. Word. Yo, yo. You know what I mean? Nah, I mean. I think you might be shouting out people in his chat. Me, oh, fuck. Was there a live chat during this? I be there. Maybe. I have no idea. It's an old ass video. I can look. Uh, on the uh, <laughs> oh, it must no. be comments and uh, comments are turned off. Comments are turned off and likes and dislikes are turned off, which means he oh, might I be, didn't know that might be getting a little hate where he doesn't want the people having a place. His videos to get off their negative energy. Banana splits, Batman. <laughs> What? All right, he's fucked up. <laughs> he's losing it. All we, right. We've crossed the line of uh, subtle yeah. inebriation into... Oh, shit. He's been staring out the window for the last, like, two minutes of this rant. Yo, y'all motherfuckers see this goddamn Captain America shield in these clouds? <laughs> I hope this I ends with just dream. him playing with the yo-yo. <laughs> you know, now I that can I... can walk the dog. You know, now that I play with it, I, I think I may have <laughs> misjudged this incredible toy. Yeah, he's... <laughs> oh, so someone accused him of losing his mind in the chat, I think. Oh. And that was oh. why he said I lost it a long time ago. See, that's that's why I know we'd be fine, because that's literally how, what our answer would be. Someone said, you guys have no lost morals. your minds. Like, oh, we lost it years I ago. No morals. I have no morals? Amen. That's an interesting thing to say for a man of principle. I have no more <laughs> Theoretical principle. I have no morals either. I have morals. Strong no. morals. That's why you're I still... I don't follow them. But that's why you're still <laughs> I'm white. I'm strong about it. Morals are white people shit. I'm just overjoyed at when you find some shit like this. I'm just high as I'm fuck. I'm literally sitting here like a fucking idiot. I have so much power. 
Amen. What do you want to do next? I promise y'all niggas, y'all get with this shit. Y'all get with the way I'm telling y'all the purpose uh, of some shit. Fuck and y'all yeah, can bro. study it. You don't just need me. Like I said, <sighs> Cycle of Maxine is where you should start. Uh, Cycle of Maxine? I don't know. You'll get that with my class. Oh, now he's just going to pitch his one. classes. I'm sorry to say they're out of print if you can get them, but I have them. I want to see how well he does this falling apart. Class. I sell them on the side, but I'd rather Cause look at his eyes. take class and get them for free. So I, I sell them for 50 bucks a pop. His people. eyes are slowly going lower and lower. What's he talking about for uh, <laughs> what we're supposed to be buying? Uh, that his are classes. Out of print? His classes. Uh, the PDFs. Now, if you can find the PDFs, so like Cyclomancy and that on your own, find them for free. I only do it as a last resort, and I got to pay the fucking gas bill some kind of way. But Amen, like I said, brother. If you take the class, you get a hundred dollar worth of shit. All right, but but this this is where they run to try. If you can manifest reality, mm-hmm. I think the bare minimum, I want to be able to manifest paying my bills. Well, that's what he's trying to do. Wouldn't you aim a touch higher? And maybe uh, not be wearing designer sunglasses if you're worried about paying your power bill. Look, you can't manifest having a good sense of judgment. <laughs> yes, apparently you can't manifest wisdom, despite look, the fact look, they said you could about look, 20 minutes in ago. In the hierarchy of things that matter, gas bill down here. Look Gucci at, glasses. Gucci glasses way at the top. Free just from doing that. Because I really want you to have this shit, man. I really do. But I also because really want the money. But I kind of need the money. Class. And, and, you know, or just broken through wherever on their own. It's a lovely place to be. You are really long for nothing. You really long for nothing. There's so much in your emotional body that you're starting to deal, I deal with. Uh-huh. Really on the past traumas now, I try to deal with because that's the last step before you get out. You got to let those. He was so traumatized you know, by that Thor <laughs> movie. another lecture that I could go into. And, you know, I don't want to kind of give it to you in a way where it's like my way or the highway or it's about following me or style you know i'm talking i'm really just talking to those who who understand this he's talking into the back of the thanos doll right now he's talking into thanos doll's head i think his phone's ringing again it is if you in this already and understand this kind of shit (laughs) email oh is that email i thought he accidentally answered and that was someone talking to him then I then I'll <laughs> then I'll be saying this is it. But if this ain't your thing or you ain't for you and you need another book, I encourage you to go away from me and get that book. You will not find nah, I'm I'm with you, brother Panic. Here. Yeah, I'm Something rolling with it. In you need to say, Yeah, nigga. Yeah. I feel that. That's so what I, I that's exactly what I say. Be able to tap into an ancient <laughs> memory. Except you hit it with a hard ER. I'm talking to you. Anybody else? Hey, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to convince anybody of nothing. I'm only trying to revel in that which I know. Ooh, that's a good way of putting it. I'm just trying to revel in that which I know. I'm not entirely sure what he knows. And Scooby Doo? Uh, that might have been a. He's mistake. trying to. Uh, nah, he's trying to revel in what he knows and Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo. Yeah. <laughs> so. Scooby Doo doesn't really make much to sense, to be honest there. No. You no, it doesn't. <laughs> game Maybe he means solving though. mysteries. I and thought I he meant like Scooby Doo. After studying all this occult shit, you really just, but beyond understanding some of the mysteries of death and that which is hidden, you start to see the hidden game that's being played on you daily. And you know where it's hidden? In plain sight. Exactly. The show. There you go. Thank, Thank you, Brother Panic. <laughs> and, and really. I did count that phrase two times in Avengers Endgame last out. night. Interesting. And speak to the people face to face about that game. They're still resisting it. They love that game without knowing their misery within that game. You know what I'm saying? Word. But that little hustle that's happening against them. Yeah, so, see, that's one of those things where he's like, you know, they've been is, playing that game. And in that game, you know, they've been hustling just to try and get ahead in that game. game. And, you know, that's like spiritual warfare. This, and it's just like, well, <clears throat> you said a sentence there. This just feels like a drunken 2 a.m. Instagram live from someone. Some of his do have that vibe. About it in your own heart. Everything you learned about the so-called black power movement, you learned as a kid. In other words, whatever the outcome of you right now, 
Uh -huh. You can, can you say that you may be programmed to be that guy too? Because it starts <laughs> with all the Yeah, no, that's a good point. Yeah, that makes a ton of sense. Yeah. You've seen all the shit, your perspective, your parents brought you through. And it's almost like this cookie cutter way to be black power or black conscious or black whatever. And if you color outside the line doing that, uh huh. You could get ostracized for that. Damn ostriches! There's yeah. a way to be. I always like emus more. There's yeah, they're so fucking racist. <laughs> There's a social way to be if you're a Nawabi. In fact, those titles make you half this color within a certain line. So you'll always hear me say, "Oh, I'm not nothing," because no matter how pristine whatever thing is, no matter how right whatever thing is, it's still a thing. <laughs> That's deep shit. No matter what a thing is or, or how right a thing is, it's still a thing. Profound. <laughs> I said, there's a certain, a Boy Scout may be the greatest, most nicest thing a young man could be. Oh, they but could rape him. there's a reason and lines in the sand that make him a Boy Scout and make you not one. So if he Such colors as. outside of Age, that line, usually. then he's not one. So you must color inside the line, no matter how great inside that line. Just don't color inside his booty. May be. I, so the question becomes to the one who's advanced. I think he's uh, lost the plot of this metaphor. Can you imagine if he'd actually done this for five hours? Will be limiting. I can't imagine him doing it for another five minutes. Things and it may take you to a certain level. Oh, he's in one of those zones where I don't think he can stop. The on that thing has a limit too, no matter what that thing is. If it's a thing. If it's a shield, ceiling, you got to break it. And pee on it. And, and piss it. on it. So once you reach that ceiling, and let's say there's, you get to level, you got three levels left, so you get to... Right. The, it, he, he can't finish one metaphor <laughs> without starting a metaphor in the middle of the metaphor. You can see his wires recrossing in, in live time. Yes, the, the neuroplasticity provided yeah. by the... Uh, the shrooms because he seemed to have had a game plan coming in but the wires crossed a little bit no i feel for sometimes you have so many good ideas that you can't properly articulate them because there's so much running around in your your noggin in his defense he's used to doing like five hour videos so to condense this to 52 minutes is actually pretty impressive level is counting down and you add three but you can't get past this grand high exalted mystic ruler then that still is the ceiling for you and it says, yeah. <laughs> you word. Be stuck there, or you may get to number one and be stuck there. I'd stuck like to be stuck one. there. It's a good and place the to only be stuck. Thing now yeah. that every other person in it is now kissing your ass as number one, and you're really stuck, and your ego just inflates. Word. All right, that's the first salient point he's yeah. made in a little while. All right, he's bringing it back. But I agree. You got you got a death to the ego. Yeah, with mushrooms. Stealing. <laughs> So you're either stuck there or you free yourself from the whole system. Word. And you can do that by purchasing the Brother or Panic Pack for $35, which is significantly cheaper than David. I can say myself, <laughs> it's been a successful thing. And I did try I'm going to buy one of those packs and smoke all of it and try and get myself sick so, so I can sue him. <laughs> <laughs> There's probably a disclaimer that he's not responsible for whatever happens to you on the uh, herbs. These medical herbs are not for medical purposes. Not approved for human ingestion. For the next man, because if you did go or the X man, you always have the opportunity to to free yourself from that. If that's free yourself, if you feel that there's more in it for you, then then there's more. Go ahead. All me. right. I don't, that makes sense. Trying, it's not like I'm trying to take recruits because there's nothing. Kind of seems like you are, though. There's well, no, if you are, no where do I apply? Type of thing. An yes, I'm, is a I'm open to being cultured by those who I don't understand. Look, the FBI is recruiting me, but I'd much rather join his cult. I'd like to be taken under the wing. Perhaps I can sleep on some sort of futon in his weird sex dungeon yeah. and uh, learn from him. It would be a beneficial internship. A mutually symbiotic relationship. Yeah. His name. With mushrooms. You could be anything, but you just have certain knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. But you could be any. I could be a fucking occultist pizza delivery guy. 
Doesn't fucking matter. That would rule. So there's nothing they to deliver occultist in. pizzas. I would 100% it's buy from an occult pizza shop. Yeah, it's a new Domino's spinoff where they just sell you uh, pizzas that have been cursed. Of your existence. And that actually looks like a pentagram shaped pizza would be kind of cool. Yeah, so spooky. The cheese, it really <laughs> haunts you. Check this shit out. Not, for, not like you checking out everything out, but give it because it, it takes a certain mind to do this. So what I've been teaching is how yes, to a drug-addled one. That's yeah. the kind of mind it takes. Well, he's talking to the spirits. You get there. What you find when you get there. Spirits so. on Instagram Live. <laughs> the spirits in his bottle. Madness. <laughs> yeah, Notes. dude's geeked. You know what I'm saying? Fuck yeah, I'm and jealous. What you find there is your. I own. want shrooms so bad. This is this is about a personal thing. Let's go this to Guitar Center after this and ask who those hippies. All right. Yourself. Either we'll just go Only to random uh, stores and just keep asking their employees for <laughs> drugs. For yourself and question that, and that can only be done by you. I can't do that for you. No one can do that for you. And the fact that you're still in a place where you think you can ask me these type of questions to do it for you, before we get to the question or the answer, we already got into the failure. Definitely not as much end game as I thought was going to be involved in this. No, uh, oh, no. Out of these fifty minutes, there's there's been sure. perhaps I'm which I'm kind of five seconds. I'm of kind of okay game. with because yeah, it's yeah. funnier the I'm way he did it. For even having brought that to my attention, and that's the fact. That's the fact. So look at it as every time you try to send an email, you just climbed up some Guru Mountain and ask your one question. And if your question, is I don't know, emails are pretty that, convenient. Climbing I, up a mountain. That seems time consuming. He, is he saying we should treat each opportunity to communicate as as a sacred opportunity? I think like that's, the the old timey stories of the people uh, climbing to the summit of a mountain. They ask the guru their their yeah. one approved question. I think that's what he's implying is if you're gonna send him an email, send it like you had to fucking walk up a thousand foot high mountain. Let's email him after this. All right. Me personally. Me no one ever responds to our email. Let's just get that. I've yeah. emailed quite a few people. No one wants to talk to me. Now, Apparently, you need to take a bunch of so Ambien and, and black out before you do it. You think I am. You well, then we've got a plan for the rest I'm of the day. Because I've gotten ask. a few hits with that. I'm telling you, I'm not the guy to fucking ask. I, that's not my study. You're not looking for me. You're looking for you. Word. Let me say it again. So y'all have a, let me take a puff first so it looks deeper. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He acknowledged it. That's a, I yeah. appreciate being self-aware. You're not looking for me. <laughs> You're looking for you. Smooth. Yeah. And then he centrally looks into right. the camera. I think that was deep. All right. <laughs> All right. I think that was deep. I like how he closes it the same way we do. Yeah. Like, All right. I think that was a good one. Let's let's get out on that. Well, I enjoyed that. That I'm was a, fun. I'm a fan of uh, Brother Panic. I have no idea what the fuck he was talking about, but I enjoyed the journey. That's and really, a, that's all that matters. Yeah, it's really irrelevant if you understand a ton of it. But yeah, Brother Panic rules. And I guess what we'll have to do is we'll go through some of his other videos because he's got a ton. Uh, it's just that he doesn't break them up into parts we'll, like Brother Bobby. So yeah, we'll, we'll just chunk them up. We'll like part we do them with out Bobby. ourselves. Yeah. Uh, I guess feedback wise, please let us know what you think of this guy. Yeah. Whether we should continue with him or not. With Brother Panic next week, I believe I think we're we'll get Cassidy back to Kerry Cassidy, perhaps Wilcock, because I know there's there's some people waiting on that Wilcock. They want our. Uh, they need thoughts. They need the, the the people need to know what we think about his stupid bullshit. Yeah. So we this time we might do that. Uh, like and subscribe. Go leave reviews yeah. on iTunes. Leave reviews on iTunes. Yeah. You can leave comments if you got any suggestions or any other people we should the, check uh, into. The Patreon is patreon.com slash yeah. hidden in plain sight pod. We have tons new, of free episodes. Yeah, tons of all the Wednesday episodes are free. That's where we put the video for the Wednesday episodes. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have our new series, Retarded yeah. in Plain Sight, yep. which uh, is us just getting increasingly fucked up and then yeah. we we don't have to worry about censoring ourselves yeah. because it's behind a paywall. And we get loose. So loose. For three bucks a month, you end up, yeah. we also got movie watch alongs. Yeah. There's a ton of content coming down the pipeline. And the Patreon will eventually become paid only. So eventually you'll have access to all that and it'll be quite the back catalog. Yes, we're, uh, for the time being, we, we felt it uncouth during yeah. the pandemic to require people to yeah. give money for something they, yeah. they enjoy. So, But now we just don't want to work anymore. So we're going to try and push that a little more. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we're yeah. broke. That and, and <laughs> oh, that I'm broke. And, that and I mean, like, what are these other people giving you? Two episodes a week? Four this week. We give you four every other week. So, uh, 
Yeah, I, th- I think that's it. We'll uh, we'll we'll get back to regularly scheduled weirdos next week. And mm-hmm. uh, hooty hoo, bomb out.